So, as Francisca said, I'm Lars Burin from the University of Gothenburg in Sweden and also the national coordinator of the Swedish Clarin organization and as such a member of the National Coordinators Forum where, where you can, if you're lucky, be chosen as program chair of this conference. Uh, the uh, program is fairly settled since some a couple of years back anyway, but there, there is another new thing in the program uh, this year compared to earlier. We, we uh, had a thematic session call for papers which focused on historical uh, sources and, and uh, text resources and, and happily we got some nice submissions for that as well. But the, the process of, uh, so should I put my finger in, in the air when I want, just, ah, I can do it myself, is that right? Uh, the procedure has been very much the same as previous years. There were a number of calls for paper, papers, uh, starting on the 15th of April with a final submission deadline in mid-July. Uh, we had a total of 34 submissions. As Francisca said, we uh, solicited submissions wider than earlier, also from non-member uh, countries, but that didn't really, as far as I can see, change things all that much. Uh, I'll, we'll see that in a, in a minute or so. Uh, the program committee, as I said, is the, is the NCF, the National Coordinators Forum, and they reviewed everything on time. Uh, every submission got three reviews, which is uh, good, I think. And finally, we had, and this is again as earlier years, uh, a face-to-face -face meeting in uh, Bergen in Norway, because the tradition is that the previous year's PC chair, which was Konrad de Smet, is the host of this meeting. So next, next year, this will happen in Gothenburg then. Uh, uh, we finally accepted 25 submissions, uh, out of which 14 will be, be presented in the, in the paper sessions, and 11 will be presented as posters. There will also be demos, uh, because uh, the paper presenters have been invited to also present demos, if they would like, in, the, in, in connection with the poster sessions. Uh, if we go to the next slide, ah, good. Uh, so I, this this shows the uh, submissions per country, and and there are actually only, as far as I can see, two non-member countries uh, represented here. So France has two submissions, and the U.S. has, I think, maybe three submissions. So, so here I've counted authors, not, not papers. So the sum, if you, well, if you can, you, you will see that the, the sum here is greater than, than uh, 25. Uh, but but it's, it's generally uh, the case that, that uh, submissions come from, from Clarin member countries, which is not surprising at all, I would say, it's, it's, but, but, it's, but it, it's a fact. Uh, another interesting thing that we tried to do this time around, and this was on the uh, advice of the Scientific Advisory Board. So next slide. Uh, they uh, asked, and now I'm uh, kind of ad-libbing what Francisca told me, they, they asked to show the conceptual structure of submissions in relation to the, uh, or to, to relate submissions to, to the conceptual structure of the infrastructure. And we took as our point of departure, because this is a kind of a difficult task, but, but in the new Clarion website, if you go to the services and tools uh, link on the front page, you will find a page with nine uh, icons which sort of reflect various aspects of, of uh, Clarin. Uh, in uh, 
their order doesn't really matter. There, there are other versions that have an, a different ordering. So, so, so one thing that the office and I started doing this time around was trying to connect each paper to at least one of these uh, nine facets of Clarion. And we've done that with little colored icons. Uh, the, the colors and the shapes are kind of meaning bearing, but in a fairly vague sense. The important thing here is that, that you have uh, papers labeled with respect to which of these facets they, they reflect mostly. And, and this has been a kind of um, impressionistic process. So if your paper is wrongly labeled, please let me know and, and we'll do something about it in, uh, or, or at least take that into account in the future. Uh, and and that, this was actually a very, very interesting exercise, regardless of, of how accurate the labels are. You can see that there is still a fairly strong emphasis on individual resources and tools. That's the middle square there, where, where we count no less than 11 uh, submissions, whereas uh, in the lower mid square about virtual collections there weren't really any any submissions covering that as far as i can see i i i would be happy to be proven wrong on that account um, you can ask me later because i i think i need to leave some time to for to brigitte as well uh, about the the meaning of the colors and the shapes because uh, well they 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 mean something or you can try to figure out yourself which is an can be an interesting exercise. Um, so uh, I said that we had a thematic session or, or a call for, for contributions for a thematic session on historical sources and, and the text resources. And we had some submissions. We, could, uh, we were able to accept two as oral presentations, and so we got a neat little thematic session for, well, immediately after this opening uh, session, in fact, or opening ceremony. Uh, and then there are three or possibly four uh, posters which also were submitted for the, the thematic session in the first poster session tomorrow. So there are three, I say three or possibly four, because you could actually submit to both the thematic and general session. So we have three, three thema thematic posters and one that doubles as, as also a general poster tomorrow in the first poster session. Um, and we also have a, an invited speaker for specifically for the thematic session as well as an invited speaker for the general session, and they will nicely bracket the conference so that it will start and end with, well, no, not quite, but almost, uh, with, with the, the plenary presenters. Uh, for the poster sessions, we are also planning poster pitches, very short presentations, but we are still not we are we are still trying to see where they should would fit in the program to make it logistically doable so so we don't have to run down from here to wherever the posters are to be presented we'll get back to the poster presenters on that soon um, as previous years there will be another call for contributions so we plan to produce a, a conference volume with long versions of, uh, of uh, papers. And, and I'll send out a call for papers or later. Uh, same procedure as, as last year and the year before that. You, you will get a instructions, number of pages, a deadline, and, and there will be a new review process by the National Coordinators Forum and eventually publication in some good place, but electronically. Uh, and I think that is what I 
wanted to say about the submissions and the uh, evaluation procedure and and still have some time for Brigitte to tell us about the local. Audience. <laughs>